Hello and welcome back to Homesteading Northern Michigan. Uh, as you can see, I love collecting things, uh, including old vintage hand planes, like these, or scrapers, you know, and I even use them, like this number 62 Stanley here, um, I use for flattening out my cutting boards. Today, what we're gonna be doing is I, I found this bluegrass uh, hand plane and instantly popped in my head that my buddy Chris Eagle is a woodworker and he plays bluegrass on his guitar. So what we're gonna do with this old girl here is we're gonna tune her up we're gonna sharpen her up. I'm gonna refinish the handle and I'm gonna lap the lap the sides and the bottom, give them a nice polish to them. And then we're gonna send this on down to Chris Eagle over at Eagle Ridge so he can uh, put her to work and uh, start his collection. So I hope you enjoy it, Chris. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is break this old plane down. Upon closer inspection, we have the stamp UN inside of the cavity for the tote. This looks very nicely machined. If you look in here, that's, that's nicely done. There's a little bit of Japaning over here though, left over. I wonder if that's gonna be a problem with mating. The frog, I don't know if that's an E but it also says U7 over here. Nothing on the back. 99% or more of the paint is original on this. Be taken off that little bit right there. They didn't get from factory and right there. Flatten this out later. And the worst of them all is this one. It's got some missing paint, but we're gonna get her cleaned up. On the back of the cap is marked C6. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this lacquer and then we're going to give it a nice coat of stain. Same thing with the knob. So to do this part, all I do is just take like 60 grit. To show you was what I do, I take the tote bolt I put it in here and then I just take my sandpaper and lightly go around it this makes quick work of it one twenty grit Okay, so I'm already here. I have my Kona gel stain. Let's soak into the napkin a little bit. Just start coating her. Figure out a good way to hold it here. A little dip and we'll do this guy. We'll let this dry for a little while. Okay, so you can see she cleaned up absolutely beautifully. Um, I did go over it with an oily rag. And uh, what that does is Japaning is petroleum based. So with it being petroleum oil, basically what you're doing is conditioning the Japaning. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten these down. So I'm gonna make it to where the iron and chip breaker for sure fit absolutely flush no problems in there it actually looks really good the more solid that this piece is the frog to the iron 
the better off you're going to be as far as making a smooth, clean cut. This is also what separates a quality plane from a cheap plane. You see this has got like an actual figure. Though I've seen cheap ones just hollow. When you're talking quality, this frog is what makes your plane better. And the tighter you have it to this frog, your, your blade and your chip breaker, the better off you're going to be. The cleaner your cuts, the smoother, the finer, no blade chatter, stuff like that. So. so next, where did I see those? There is some bumps here where the part got tossed around probably before it was put on. Um, all those will elevate it off the bed and make it sit crooked. You got to make sure this is flat and at the right angle for the bottom or else you're going to make the problem worse. And I did hit that edge a little hard just to knock down that bump. So with this one without having an adjuster we're going to sit here and feel if this thing rocks in here. And it doesn't. So she is solid. She sits in there just fine. Finally, Chris Eagle from Eagle Ridge, the gentleman that's getting this beautiful plane, is uh, the one that sent me these brushes. So we're cleaning out all of this dust. What I'm using, fast drying polyurethane by Minwax. And we'll hit the back. Okay, so this is how I lap it. I just put even pressure on it. Slowly go back and forth. Let the paper do the work. Not putting a lot of pressure on it. honed up and I got a piece of maple right here with a rough sawn edge on it. We're going to clean up that rough sawn edge and we're going to see what kind of shaving she produces. Normally this is where I would ask you to please subscribe to my channel but this video is for my buddy Chris so if you could go check out Chris Eagle at Eagle Ridge. I'll leave a link in the description. He's a really, really great guy if you're looking at some funny woodworking or some uh, really good bluegrass guitar playing, you'll be happy with his channel. If you want to see more plane restoration videos, I will leave a link to my other channel, Michigan Hobby Hunter, in the description. There will be several more of these. So as you can see, she's producing some 
really thick cuts. This isn't pine or anything, this is maple. This is strong stuff. So, let's see how thin of a cut we can go. And of course, a super shout out to all my Michiganders who hit that join button. You guys are amazing. If you're interested in helping support the channel, check out that join button. Or in the link in the description will be my Teespring store. You guys have a blessed day. Peace.